Welcome back. The time is 8.50. It's time to get to today's Sunday Funday moment. First Light Federal Credit Union is making history with the announcement of their first female CEO in the credit union's 60-year history. ABC 7's Iris Lopez has more with today's Sunday Funday, Funday moment, sponsored by Sarah Farms. And your title? I am the CEO for First Light Federal Credit Union. How does it feel to say that? It's exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> Meet Margie Salazar. First Light Federal Credit Union's new CEO and a proud UTEP graduate who worked her way up to becoming the credit union's first female CEO. I started working at the credit union back as a UTEP student and was in my 20s working as a teller. And since then, I just, you know, have obtained several different positions throughout my career here. Becoming the CEO for the credit union wasn't always on Margie's radar. But after becoming chief financial officer for First Light, Margie was excited for what was next in her journey. Oh my gosh, it was it was honestly like a dream come true for me because, you know, 25 years ago, I've been here 25 years, I never imagined that I was going to be CEO. Like, I didn't have this overarching goal that was like, I want to be CEO. However, Margie's journey to becoming CEO was put on pause after a regular checkup would turn into a life-changing diagnosis. The last two years have probably been the most, um, I would say, challenging probably in my entire life. Well, I went for my regular checkup, and so it turned out that I had blood cancer, and it was pretty aggressive at that, at that point. Margie would spend the next two years going through aggressive chemotherapy treatments. So that was very difficult. There was a lot of ups and downs, side effects. However, despite those challenges, Margie never gave up. I didn't want that to be an obstacle to achieving my goals. Like I was like, this is not going to stop me from, from getting to where I want to be. For Margie, being able to show her two children that anything is possible, regardless the obstacles thrown our way, is something she is most proud of. And she has some advice for others who may need that extra push to apply for that job of their dreams. Just believe in yourself and continue to instill confidence in yourself that you are you know, just as qualified as anybody else. Iris Lopez, ABC7.